Hey everyone, welcome back to another campground tour. Today we are going to be going through the Sugarloaf Key West KOA. And we're going through the entrance right now. The check-in is to the right. And now we are going to go through the campsites. 101 through 111 is on the left. And 201 through 213 on the right. Ones on the right are pull-through sites. The ones on the left are back in. Also, the ones on the right have the patio, uh, the decorative patio with chairs. They're really nice. The building on the left is a vacation rental uh, building. It's sort of like a hotel that the KOA manages. Um, they're pretty new, and we didn't really see too many people in them, but they're very nice buildings. Straight ahead, you'll see the marina. It has uh, boat rentals, uh, gas for your boat, and there is a place to launch your boat if you have one. As we come around the bend, uh, the pool area is on the left, and on the right, sites 213 through 201. Those are still the pull-through sites that we just saw. The pool area also has a bar, a store, laundry services. And on the left, sites 309 through 301. Straight ahead, you'll see the check-in office there on the right and building number two for the vacation rental rooms. There are two of those. And as we circle around here, you'll see straight ahead sites 4002 and 4003. Those are long pull-through sites. In fact, one had a diesel pusher and a boat, full-size boats there. And on the right, you'll see someone who does not choose their football teams very well. But anyway, uh, sites 401 through 415 are on the right and 302 through 310 are on the left. As we come up on the left, you'll see the uh, other side of the uh, showers, uh, store, pool area. Um, stay tuned till the end uh, because I'll have video of the pool area and the beach area. As we make our way around that turn, we saw 809 and 808 on the left. And we will be coming by sites 412 through 4001 on the right. Those are back in sites and 510 through 501 on the left, those are pull-through sites. And straight ahead you can see the dog park area and on the other side of that is propane to get refilled. And as we make the turn around you'll see another shower and laundry building and we'll have site 601 through 619 on the right. Those are back in except at the very end at 619 and then 501 through 510. Uh, those are the pull through sites on left. As we make the turn to the right, you'll see sites 805, 804, 803 in front of us. And then 618 through 602 on the right, those are back in sites, and then 719 through 701 on the left. 719 is a pull-through site. And coming up, you'll see the other side of the shower and laundry room on our right. And straight ahead are the tent sites, uh, one through four. We'll get a couple views of those on our way out. And straight ahead to the right there is a boat trailer parking if you need that. 
Uh, straight ahead are, are sites 1027 through 1010. Uh, on the right, there are the uh, back end sites, and 702 through 716 on the left. We are slowly making our way towards the sites that are located next to the beach area and I will have an additional video at the end so you can get an idea of what those look like. As you can see all the sites are beautiful, well taken care of, lots of greenery between them. They're just really nice, nice place to camp. So these are the beach sites on the right, 1009 through 1001. And then 901, 907 are on the left. Uh, those are pull-through sites. And then through those trees right there are, is the um, pool area. And like I said, I'll have a video showing that here in a moment. And this is the last area we really have not driven down. It's 809 through 801 are on the right, pull-throughs, and 907 through 901 uh, on the left, pull-throughs. So we stayed at the KOA uh, in February of 2023. Uh, you, it's a little pricey, but you really get what you pay for. Uh, there is Wi-Fi at the campground. The bathrooms there are immaculate. Uh, you can tell this place has been rebuilt recently, and we really enjoyed our stay there. As I mentioned earlier, the, the, there's parking right there for your boat trailers, and on the left there you get another uh, view of the tent sites. They provide those canopies there. Straight ahead is the propane, on the right is the bathrooms, and then out the exit we go. Uh, what's nice here is, and you'll see here in a moment, if you're towing a vehicle, um, there's a spot you can pull over here to the right, right there, and you can hook your vehicle up to your tow vehicle. And off you go. As I mentioned, this is the pool area. Off to the right was the bar area. You can order food. And there's the pool. The hot tub is just behind that. And there's places to have cornhole or play cornhole. And now this is the beach area. There are three paths to get to the beach area. If you're not on the, the uh, sites next to the beach, you can walk there. And this is, it's not, it's, it's rocky, but, you know, there is a beach there. So, and that's pretty much for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.